Hello, welcome to Studio From Home with the Art Gallery of Nova Scotia. My name is Flora May. I exhibited a piece at the gallery in 2019. It was titled Sprouting Grass Moon and was for a group exhibition called Worn Inward, which you can find more about on the Art Gallery of Nova Scotia website. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do some embroidery and darning techniques on any old piece of clothing. This is my piece Sprouting Grass Moon from 2019. It's a wearable medicine pouch and features bearberries and Labrador tea. It's stitched onto cotton. The project that I'm going to be working on today with you guys is an old pair of denim jeans. If you don't have a pair of jeans that need to be repaired, you could always go to the thrift store and rescue, um, you know, a pair that might be thinner or might already have some rips. Um, these ones I started repairing a couple of years ago here. I did some stitches and as you can see, it's just continued to wear away. So today you guys will be following along with me trying to repair these. I'm going to show you how to patch and darn clothing with a couple of different stitches. Um, this is my first example. It's going to work better on a heavy material like this, so jackets and denim are perfect. Um, if you don't have any clothes to follow along with, you can create a embroidery sampler with these techniques um, on just any plain old piece of fabric if you want to follow along but weren't feeling like you wanted to experiment on clothing. So all you're gonna need for this activity are some dressmaker pins, um, some assorted needles. I like one with a nice big eye for beginner's embroidery. I've got some different color threads, some scrap fabrics that I think would make fun patches, just cut off or left over from other projects, and a nice pair of really sharp embroidery scissors they don't have to be embroidery scissors, but they should be sharp um, just because it's going to save you a lot of time and trouble. All right. The very first thing I'm doing is taking these sharps and just cleaning up the fray on the denim. I'm also going to place my patch on the back just to make sure it's the right size for the knee. I also have these great little kind of three inch by six inch hoops, which is just large enough to fit in the sleeve or um, like here I have it in the knee of these jeans. Anything bigger, you wouldn't be able to fit in the fabric. Straight stitch is the fundamental embroidery stitch. You're going to start from the back of the cloth and come up with your needle. Move a few centimeters to either the right or the left, and then put your needle back down through the fabric. And you're going to continue this on and on until you get whatever pattern you like. It's great for clothing repair as long as your stitches aren't too long so that you don't snag them in anything. When your thread's almost finished, you're going to take your clothing and turn it inside out and weave that remainder of thread through the last few of your stitches. And you could tie a little knot on the end of this as well, but it's not necessary. So backstitch is the next, and this one will create a nice solid line and is also a little bit more stable than just a regular straight stitch. So to begin, you're bringing the needle up through the back of the fabric like before but slightly in front of where you want your line to begin. So you're making a single stitch backwards to the point where the stitching should begin, and you're inserting the needle front to back. So you're, again, you're bringing the needle up a short distance from the first stitch on the line, and then the second stitch will be bringing the point down to that first stitch. This last stitch is really just a variety on the straight stitch. I'm overlapping them to make a cross stitch and just filling in my last red patch here. We would love to see what you created. So tag us on the Art Gallery NS Instagram page so other people can see your work as well. My name's Flora May. Thank you for watching my episode in the Studio From Home series and continue to follow along with the other artists and videos. Thanks for watching.